Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Today I'm here to share with you what I made for Tamika Swap over on Scrap the World. This is the 6x9 binder mail page swap. It's not a full binder, um, it's just one page. Um, there were four groups. There was Unicorn, Majestic, Shabby, and Clean and Simple. Um, of course, I chose Clean and Simple. That's my favorite. Um, and I went with the fall theme. There was a couple different paper collections that I was uh, debating on, but I just really like fall. So this is how mine come packaged. Super cute. That's how they come. Um, so a lot of the stuff I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. The stickers... Um, the sunflowers, the pumpkins, and some other stuff inside came from Hobby Lobby. The spray and the scarecrow came from Michael's, and the little leaves came from Lindsay, who is Follow the White Rabbit here on YouTube. Um, so I added a little pocket to the front of my page. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but the rule was we had to leave a half an inch border so our partners can punch their own holes um, just in case not everyone has the same like three hole, um, three ring binder. Um, maybe they have a four ring binder, so we're just supposed to leave it whole. So that's what I did. I put a little strip just to give it some extra strength. Um, I put it on both sides. Um, for my page, I used this cute little envelope. It was exactly six by nine, so I thought that was great. It came from Hobby Lobby. I think it was called Parts and Pieces or something. They were on sale, so I got them. Um, here is the back. Oh, we had to do it currently as well. So what I did is I added some, um, glass glitter. This right here. To the closure. I added the little stickers and some leaves. Um, now my currently is just on here with two of the tiniest little glue dots. So that way my partners can take it off and use the um, mat for like a picture they want to. I just want to make sure everything was usable or reusable so that way um, you know when all the goodies are out you still have something. Um, here's that strip again. Um, so there's two strips plus the envelope so they should be pretty sturdy. Um, inside we have the little scarecrow which he's just an extra for texture. Um, you, oh, you had to buy two store-bought goodies and two packs of four handmade goodies. And then, like, you could add extra surprises, which I did because it just looked nicer. Um, I added these really cute fall flowers I got from Craft Warehouse. Some gold bling, which came from Michael or Walmart. I just took the backing out. Um, I made this little fox paper clip. I made it so they can easily take this off if they don't want him to be a paper clip. But I needed him to stay in a certain spot, so I thought a paper clip was nice. Um, here's where you'll see another goodie. I just cut little fringe to add more texture. These little flowers. And then I made just a tag. It's not um, matted other than the strip because I figured my partners can put a picture, maybe journal. And then this one is a little booklet. So some have a pumpkin, some have leaves. And again, they can use the, on the smooth surface, they can just use a white gel pen or yellow gel pen would look really nice. And, um, you know, journal. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna put this back together so that way I can package it and we're good to go. Um, I thought it was a good idea to take the packaging off this. Just, you know, you can do the extra dec decorating. Like, um, I know a lot of people would have just decorated that tag or the label for that, but I thought it looked good. Just put it in upside down. Because I this is not a paper collection. These were just loose pieces of paper that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. So I had to be um, careful because I didn't, uh, I only bought four sheets of each, so... Okay, and then in the back of the envelope, it would be, I found these really cute chipboard stickers in Halloween, so I thought that was cute, just to stick in there, and I found this little 
attachment pocket where you can attach it to your mini albums or your scrapbook layouts and you can put like tags and whatnot in there. So I thought that was really cute. Um, you guys seen that before. These came from Craft Warehouse. And then my two packs of handmade embellishments. I went back to my love. Um, so my coffee. Um, this one was inspired from Pinterest. And this one was from um, Ida. She did something similar. Excuse me, she's created to create. And these two were just my own design. So I thought they were really cute. Um, I was gifted this little bear um, die cut. So I thought that was really cute. And then I made some more of the little foxes. Those were a cameo silhouette store cut. And then I did bows with those really pretty fall flowers on there. So I thought that was really cute. Oh, and then I made um, everyone a little paper clip that has a disco ball bead and then a feather. And that's just how my foxes are attached to the backing paper. Very cute, I thought so. So that goes in the back. Um, I was going to attach them to um, the back of the page like I've seen on some of the other YouTube videos. But this is an envelope, so I just thought it made sense to put it inside and it was really cute. And, that, and then also I like the fact that they can um, add a picture here. Oh no. My little beads almost came out. Okay. So that goes in there. Okay. So all I'm doing is closing up. It's a little thick so it's kind of hard to close it up. But we'll get it done. So my pocket, I wanted it to be something different than just paper. Um really like I said there weren't any rolls um, you could pretty much do it however you want you just had to have another pocket and so I thought it would be super cute to use a burlap pocket um, that I bought from craft warehouse so I thought this was super cute um, all they have to do is I've already punched the I punched a hole um, with my crop a dial so that way um, in case my partners, I don't know who if, if everyone has a crop a dial or not. A regular hole punch is not going to go through this, but the crop a dial goes through it easily. So I punched one hole, so no matter what type of binder they have, it can go on one of the hooks. And so all they do is just remove the brad, and then they have a hole. I didn't want to um, just leave the hole open because, um, you know, it may not match up or it'll fray or I don't know. So I figured I'll just leave it there and just put a little note. Um, I added one of the um, sunflowers and a cute little bird. I thought it was just really pretty. So the burlap has gold um, we, um, thread woven in it and it has like a little lace on the bottom. So just thought this was super cute. And then on the inside I just added um, some flowers from Michael's, a little bird, and some other flowers. I don't want to take it all out because it's a pain to it just it snugly fit in there. Um, so you guys will have to watch their reveal videos to see what's in there. Okay, so that's how I have it all packaged. I did very minimal on my packaging. I just thought it was really nice to kind of. Um, focus on what's inside um, but I did make the little hats that you saw on the front I'll show you that in just a second um, cute little hats everyone's name on there in vinyl they're little doll hats and I just glued them on paper clip added the flower done and done so that is my swap guys I hope you like it thanks for watching definitely check out Tamika's page um, and then my partners. All right. Bye.